Hey everybody, this is David with Cartoon Fortress. Uh, today I have a TV show unboxing for you. And this comes to us by way of Kino Lorber. And this is the classic uh, series, The Outer Limits. I have both season one and season two, which does make up the complete series. Uh, for the show uh, in these two season sets. Um, so these are in uh, some nice looking box sets here. And let's go ahead and dive right in. And I do want to say as I'm as I'm opening these up, so this this show uh, started airing in 1964, I believe, and uh, dovetailed just a little bit with my personal favorite TV show of all time, and that is uh, The Twilight Zone. This is kind of a, I don't want to call it a sister series to The Twilight Zone, but but definitely um, lended really well to that kind of sci-fi uh, look and feel and and uh, played well, I, I feel like, alongside The Twilight Zone. I, I do feel like The Twilight Zone is the superior series of the two, but there's a lot of fun to be had with, with this show as well. So uh, when I open this up, I, I, I'm immediately greeted here with a nice booklet, this uh, nice perfect bound uh, season one book. You have the Kino Lorber uh, Studio Classics branding on the back, and just looking in here a little bit, um, Oh, so the first thing we see here is September 16th, 1963, a new series titled The Outer Limits premieres. So it's 1963, not 1964. And I believe 1964 was the final season of The Twilight Zone. So they did dovetail yeah, by about a year is when they, when they overlap. So we have a little introduction there, some nice screenshots. And then it looks like we get a little write-up on what looks like each episode, maybe. And then here we have a, a definite episode list. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, we have a young Donald Pleasance here or younger Donald Pleasance, who would uh, later go on to star in films uh, like the Halloween series, of course, and then one of my favorites, the classic Disney um, Escape to Witch Mountain. So a nice little episode guide here. And then the end page there. So that's really cool. And then let's break into the actual discs here. So this is like a digipack style. So we have quite a few, quite a few discs here. Um, seven discs in total. Um, so each of these looks pretty similar. So episodes one through five. So there's 32 as we can see on the Whoops, maybe if I get this into the um, the final disc is, is uh, episodes 31 through 32. So 32 total episodes in season one. So it's this kind of digipack style that all folds in together. And discs, I guess you could call that disc stacking a little bit. The, So not, not what I would call my favorite packaging, but um, all the discs are housed well and a nice compact set for the complete first season. And we get kind of the blue coloring on there and then with season two we get the green. So let's go ahead and break into this one. Oh, and then let's go ahead and 
sorry, go back to the first set here. So there are quite a few special features. Looks like our total runtime is 1,632 minutes. And this is a region A disc. There's a review by Stephen King, which I slightly disagree with his review, as again, I do feel like <laughs> Twilight Zone is the, is the better of the two series, but a lot to love here. So take a look at the kind of synopsis there and then the special features, and then it does include that 40 page booklet with an essay by David Show. All right, so jumping over to season two here, let's get this unwrapped and then I'll show you what's contained in this set. All right, so there's the synopsis there and then special features and features the same quote by Stephen King. <laughs> And this one comes in at a total runtime of 867 minutes. So this is obviously the shorter of the two seasons. Let's go ahead and open this one up. So here we have a loose disc. Um, here we have a, a similar setup for the disc. So four disc set. Um, here, so, uh, so this has 17 episodes and then the bonus features are on the fourth disc with the last two episodes. So here we have a, a booklet as well, a little bit thinner, not perfect balance. You just have kind of a stapled booklet. There is still nothing wrong with your television set. So this is season two with another write-up from David Show. David Shaw, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. Some nice screenshots, and then we get the same kind of episode list, which is great. And then the back there. So another, I'll say, well, well put together Set. Um, again, not not my absolute favorite packaging, um, but it is definitely serviceable. So we'll go ahead and put this back in. So there's season one and season two of The Outer Limits. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if this is a show that you have enjoyed watching at any point in your life, if these are sets that you're excited to pick up. Um, and then I'll include a link in the description uh, for Amazon where you can go ahead and, and pick these up. Uh, together, these will run you close to $100 um, for the complete series, so not too bad. And Kino Lorber does a great job with their releases. I'm excited to look at the quality of uh, transfers on these for the Blu-ray format and, and extra features, of course. So this is uh, David signing off with Cartoon Fortress. Have a wonderful day.